Do not take these tweezers and go digging in them locks, okay? Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. Hi everyone, I hope all is well. In today's video, I will be giving you a few tips on how to prevent lint buildup in your locks. Listen, your girl made a few mistakes and I'm paying the cost for it right now. So if you're interested, and knowing what you can do to avoid lint and to prevent it from building up in your locks. Please keep on watching, but before you do, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the family, I would love to have you. And don't forget to press the notification bell so you'll be up to date on all my future posts. All right, let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys, so before we get started, I just wanna share with you the mistakes that I made. So where your girl went wrong was that I was not doing what I needed to do to prevent the lint. So I had got lint buildup and pretty much it became embedded in my locks. So inside of my locks, you know how sometimes if you see a piece of lint, you can just like pick it out. No, my lint was embedded in my locks. And so as I was picking the lint, I was also picking my hair. And that caused me to pull out more hair than lint which in turn caused my locks to thin out. So you're wondering, why am I holding locks in my hand? Because your girl ended up having to cut it off. Yes, I cut off these locks. These were on the first back row. So I'm starting over, but as you can see, like nothing can save these locks. I mean, the lint is so intertwined with my hair that if I continue to pick, I won't have a lock anymore. You don't want it to get to the point of lint buildup. You want to prevent lint altogether. So the first thing, first tip, which is probably the most important tip, is cover your locks at all costs. Okay, I'm talking about when you are sleeping, napping, when you go outside for a jog, when you are lounging around in the house, laying on the couch, laying on a pillow, it is imperative that you cover your locks at all costs. That is because our locks naturally attract particles from the air. You know, when you go outside and you're jogging, you don't know what's blowing in your way and what's getting attracted to your locks. Our locks are like a magnet. I know it's weird, but it's true. So be careful or be aware that there are particles, dust particles, you know, all types of things in the air. And so you just want to make sure that you are covered. If you plan on laying down on the couch and binge watching on one of your shows, listen, it's nothing to just get a bonnet, get a bonnet, get a scarf, tie your hair up, tie your hair back, wrap it up wrap up those locks honey okay all right so that is the most important now moving on to tip number two brushing your locks now this is mainly for people who have matured locks who are either in the teenage or adult phase of their locks you know how they say like when you're loose natural don't brush your hair on dry hair don't comb your hair on dry hair. It is safe as long as it's a soft bristle brush, very soft, okay? You can go ahead and just go through and just brush. See, I have my ring light right here and I can see all the particles just by shaking my locks. If you have teenage or adult locks, it is safe for you to grab yourself a soft bristle brush and go through each row and brush your locks. Now, for my baby lockers and my people who are still in the baby phase in their starter lock journey, I have an alternative for you. Make sure that every time you take down your locks or take off your scarf, bonnet, whatever you use to wrap up your locks, that you give it a nice good shake. Just shake it. Shake it for like a minute, you know, go through each section of your locks and just shake give it a good shake i wouldn't shake your head because you might give yourself a headache <laughs> or whiplash or something but just take your hands you know just and just shake do that as often as you can 
I would say, like I said before, you wrap up your locks and after you take down your bonnet, just to cover yourself, just to make sure that you are doing everything in your power to prevent lint, okay? All right, let's go on to tip number three. I know this is probably a controversial tip for you guys, but I strongly believe that using heavy products on your locks just adds fuel to the fire. When you apply oil along the length of your locks, you are encouraging more lint, more particles from the air to attract to your locks. I'm a huge advocate on making sure that your scalp is clean, moisturized, and coated, whether you use an oil, whatever you choose to use. However, I do not put oil along the length of my locks, and that is probably why they are so flowy and they just, you know, they go with the wind. They not, they're not weighed down. And I know sometimes we want shiny looking locks, but I'm telling you, it all depends on the product that you use. <coughs> Horse Garden products. <coughs> You want to use something that is very lightweight. A good alternative is a sheen, a oil sheen. That is my advice to you. Now, as you can see, I only had lint on the bottom row. And that is because I know what causes. I have a big fluffy bear. Whenever I sit down and binge watch my shows, I just be all laying back on my big teddy bear. And that is the area that was more prone to lint. I don't have lint anywhere else anywhere else and so yeah you guys I do not coat the length of my locks with oil okay so please be careful with putting product along the length of your locks not only does it attract more lint attract more particles but it also weighs down your lock number, let's move on to tip number four keep your locks clean yes the more you keep your locks clean the less build up you'll see the less product or whatever is in your locks will stay i know i'm somebody who washes their locks once a month but that's because <clears throat> doors garden products actually geared towards cleaning them. in this particular spray i have tea tree essential oil and lavender essential oil we all know that tea tree is a natural cleaner so you don't have to overwash but at the same time you want to use products that gear towards keeping your locks clean keeping your locks moisturized and keeping them hydrated <clears throat> doors garden products yeah i'm gonna keep doing it throughout the video because i'm telling you this stuff is the truth but yeah you just want to use something that's going to keep your locks clean and fresh tea tree oil and peppermint is known to do those things so that is why i'm able to go a little bit longer between washes just make sure that you are keeping your locks clean making sure that you stay on a wash day schedule and you know just wash whenever necessary it just really helps prevent anything from getting stuck or embedded into your locks as well besides washing is doing a lock detox i haven't tried a lock detox as of yet but i plan on doing so soon in the near future but i've heard great things i've seen videos on youtube of how well it works for a lot of lockers if i were you i would consider doing a lock detox maybe once or twice a year that is another option and pretty much what a lock detox is is when you mix baking soda with lemon or lemon juice and apple cider vinegar and it makes this chemical reaction that causes bubbles and I guess it helps with uh, lifting up whatever product buildup, lint buildup, whatever you have in your locks. It literally just pulls everything from your locks. So that is a great alternative. By the way, with the lock detox, I would not do it if you just started your locks if you're still in the baby phase. This is mainly for people who are in the teenage slash mature phase. But I think that for my beginners, if you wash your hair, get on a wash day schedule, and then also use products that help gear towards cleanliness, but also keeping your locks moisturized, you will be just fine. Those are my few tips that I have for preventing lint buildup. Now, if you do see lint, it is okay to use your fingers or tweezers, it is okay to get it if it's on the surface of your locks. If you can see it and it's just like right there, you can just get it off, cool, that's fine. But do not take these tweezers and go digging in them locks. Don't be like me, you are going to regret it. 
you are going to break down the foundation of your lock and you're going to cause it to thin. And honestly, I'm not even sure you're able to repair it unless you add fake hair. Because even with this little ball of lint, if I go in and take out the lint, I'm still left with very little hair. And so my locks or your locks will suffer. Please don't do it. That's all that I have for you for today. I hope that you found this video very useful. I know that I did. And ever since I've been taking these necessary steps, your girl has been lint free. And I want you to be lint free as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you in my next video.